It's Prime Day with more than 30 million items on sale right now. Before you buy, we've got two apps to make sure you're really getting the best price. Plus, thousands online claim the U.S. Senate is trying to make Amazon's two-day free Prime shipping illegal through a new antitrust bill. Is it true? We'll verify. Members of the January 6th committee say someone is tampering with their witnesses. If true, we'll explain why there's not much Congress can do about it. And after Roe v. Wade was overturned, this pregnant woman tried to get out of a ticket for driving in the HOV lane. The police officer wasn't buying it. One law saying that it's a baby, and now he's telling me that this baby that's jabbing my ribs is not a baby. Why can't it all make sense? Let's dig into it. Listen closely. Can you hear it out there? <laughs> Yes, people all over the tribe, they're buying stuff right now, racking up some bills online because it is Amazon Prime Day. Well, really days, right? Since the deals go all the way through tomorrow night. I'm Tanya Rivera. Thanks for joining us. And I've been Briscoe. We've already been doing our shopping. Oh, yes. And we are digging into all the ways to make sure you're really getting the best deal. Starting with some helpful shopping tools you can download online for free. We've all heard of stores that raise the prices so they can slash them later and pretend you're getting a good deal. It was hard to know if that was happening, or at least it was, until now. Take this Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition for example. Amazon says it's normally $189.99, on sale for $134.99. According to the Chrome browser extension Keepa, over the last 293 days, this sales price is the lowest price Amazon has sold the device for. Back in February, it did drop down to $143, but still not as cheap as the current $134 price. So you're getting Amazon's best price for the device. But what about other stores? Could you find it cheaper somewhere else? The Honey Chrome extension browser answers that. It searches across the internet for cheaper deals and says you found a deal. This one is on the lower price of other stores. Both of these extensions work through your Chrome browser on your computer, or they have phone apps you can use instead. I put the link to them on my Facebook page. Just search for Watchdog Bid. Another trick is to know it's not just Amazon having sales during Prime Day. Other major retailers like Target and Best Buy are hoping to cash in on the shopping frenzy also. In fact, Retail Me Not says more than 300 other major stores offering some sort of big sale today and tomorrow. Again, that's why the Honey app is so helpful to search across all those stores at once. And if you don't want to mess with downloading a new app, well, you can always use Google Shopping. Go to Google, click on the Shopping tab, and put the item you're looking for in. It will tell you where on the internet it's selling for the cheapest price. Of course, one of the ways Amazon is trying to woo you from those other retail sites is by offering that free delivery within just a day or two. But to pull that off, they have thousands of workers in North Carolina alone at three distribution centers, including one right here in Kernersville. Those shopping sites or shipping sites are expected to work around the clock this week to make sure your order is arriving on time. This 855,000 square foot fulfillment center filled with associates working hard to meet the demand. The better we do, the more work we do, the more smiles we can deliver to everybody else. Adam Smith is one of the 3,000 Amazon associates at just one of North Carolina's plants, making this process flow. First, with sorting. When you scan an item, it's going to light up and show you where it's okay to put it. Technology keeping the flow smooth. When you go online and you click that buy button, our Amazon Robotics will identify where that's at on our AR floor and bring it right to one of our picker associates. For Prime Day alone, Amazon says it's offering over 30 million eligible items. It takes some getting used to when you first start, but after a while you just pretty much know what to do. And what we offer here to deliver to our customers, keep our associates safe, and continue leveraging technology as much as we can. Technology that scans and prints a shipping label in a matter of seconds, or help pack a box with ease. And despite strains on the supply chain and inflation impacts, Amazon hopes Prime Day is the perfect chance to deliver the goods and the savings. It's really enabled us to really um, navigate when we're having these different macroeconomic situations, our ability to still make sure that we're meeting our customers' needs.
The promise of two-day shipping for free is what Amazon is known for. It's really why Prime Day became so popular in the first place. But thousands of people online are concerned a new bill in the United States Senate might be trying to outlaw the free Prime shipping. Senate Bill 2992 is a bipartisan effort to keep tech companies from creating monopolies. And viewer Mel is asking, will U.S. Senate Bill 2992 really take away Amazon Prime? The sources for our Verify are the bill itself and a professor from Emory University's business school. If passed, SB 2992 does a lot of technical stuff that's supposed to help level the playing field between major corporations like Amazon and small business owners. But nowhere does the bill say that Amazon could no longer offer the prime shipping service. The professor from Emory added that the true impact of this bill would be limiting how much data Amazon and other companies can collect about you. The similarity here is not so much the private products that Amazon sells. I, I, I think that is perhaps less of a concern, but the fact that it has extraordinary access to data that is not available to a lot of the other folks who sell through its platform. So we can verify that no, if the bill is passed, it would not take away services like Amazon Prime, but it would actually make it easier for the competition to offer similar shipping products. A few of us here at the station asked what your plans for Amazon Prime Day are. Bye! <laughs> Not everyone, though. Wendy says she got a new printer, an air fryer, toaster combo, and a pair of Skechers. Kim says she already brought paper towels, washing detergent, <coughs> phone cases, and flip-flops ordered. Not everyone's interested in the sales. Beth says she buys enough every week from Amazon and she is sitting this one out. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Lauren, you're not about this. I'm not about this. I'm sitting this one out. I feel like I've been buying a lot of stuff lately, so I don't really need anything else. I'm trying to save my coins, you know, with all the inflation and stuff. Save those coins. And that's okay, right? Yeah. You should only buy like when you need to yes. and when your budget allows you to. Absolutely. Right, mm -hmm. so I bought my birthday present and nice. I bought other people's birthday presents. <laughs> I think uh -huh. Tanya and I both did our shopping first thing this morning because we knew what we wanted. Yes. We would thought about it for a couple of weeks and are only buying that, right? Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. Yeah. Like, someone take my phone away from me because I want to buy more. More things. But I don't need to. Do you like set a budget for yourself or you just get the things that you see that you like? I mean, I've been watching the prices on the things that I wanted. So okay. I looked at it and I went, okay, now it's, it's like more than ha like half off. So I'm like, that is a good price. That is worth buying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think if it's not more than like a third off to 40% or more, yeah. it's not a good deal. So you Skip agree. It. So you say it's totally worth doing this. If you need that specific thing and you okay. knew you were going to buy it anyway. If you're okay. like, I just have a few extra bucks to spend. No. Okay. And don't spend more than your budget allows, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Happy shopping, guys. <laughs>